Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from EasyAutomation.com and welcome to another video from Easy Automation. And today we're going to talk about how we can make use of Ubuntu operating system to start developing .NET applications and test .NET applications from complete ground up. So in this video, we're going to talk about how we can install .NET 6, both the runtime and SDK, and also how we can install the mono runtime, which is required for the .NET to be executed. And then we are going to see how we can make use of any of the IDE to start developing the application. It can be a Rider application, it can be a VS Code, whichever is your preference of choice, you can use that. But I'm going to be using Rider in this particular demonstration and I'm going to show you how we can use Rider to actually create an application and run it. So this is the Rider IDE that I have already installed from the Ubuntu softwares. You can actually install the same from here by downloading it from stores like this or you can also install the vs code as i was talking about so these are the two ides of choice for you to develop the dotnet application in ubuntu operating system but as i said if i just go to the terminal right now and if i just try typing dotnet you will see that we don't really have dotnet yet so we are going to first start installing the dotnet in this particular operating system in order to install the dotnet itself we actually need to go to the browser over here and search for .NET installation, something like this. You will end up with this particular link. So I'm gonna go over here. And this is where you're gonna have the details about how you can install the .NET in Ubuntu operating system. But you can also install .NET in other distros as you can see over here. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna choose the Ubuntu version 21.10. This is the version which I am running at the moment. So the commands that you can see over here are these. First of all, you need to copy paste this particular bash command and this is going to let you install the SDK as well as the runtime and then you can install runtime something like this. So let's first go and copy each and every command from here and then start installing the .NET itself. So I'm going to do that first over here and it prompts me to enter the password because I'm using a sudo command there. And then I'm going to install the SDK. So I've copied that. I'm going to paste it. I'm going to hit enter. That's going to install the SDK for me. And once I got the SDK installed, and then I'm going to install the runtime. So I'm going to paste this command. I'm going to install that as well. And finally, we are going to be installing the .NET runtimes. So, so everything is almost done. So it is pretty good to go right now. And now if I do dotnet hyphen hyphen info you will see that the dotnet is currently being installed the version is 6.0.3 so this is how we can install the dotnet over here but now the next thing which i told about is the mono runtime but if you really wanted to see what i really talk about the mono runtime because that's something which we don't even install in windows operating system to prove the point without mono how we can't develop the dotnet application i'm going to open the JetBrains Rider IDE and I have just installed so I'm gonna agree don't send and it's gonna ask me the customization so I'm gonna let the color themes I'm gonna hit the key and you can see that once I do this you will see that it shows me that the environment has got the dotnet that we just installed but the mono is not installed so this is what I was talking about without mono runtime engine we can't really run the C sharp and develop any C sharp based application so for that I'm gonna first install the mono right now so I'm gonna go to the mono I'm gonna go to the download and you can see that we have the Linux version over here so I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna paste it over here I'm gonna hit enter that's gonna be downloading the packages for us and then we're gonna install the mono itself so this is the second command that we need to do that's going to install the mono for us. Hit enter to accept the default Y. And that's it. The mono has been installed as well. So now if you see over here, let's say if I go back and if I go to the environment, I guess it's not refreshed, but the mono has been installed. So I'm going to start doing disabling all these unnecessary things which I don't really want. I need the spec flow, so I'm going to install that. And then I'm going to start using the JetBrain Rider. That's it. That's about the installation of the .NET within the Ubuntu operating system for us. Uh, because we have the mono right now, so we are pretty good to go as well. And now I'm going to go and activate my JetBrains license. You can actually 
activate your trial license if you wanted to but since i have my license i'm gonna go and activate it for myself and once it is done i'm then gonna go to the rider once again let me close this as well you will see that the rider is now available and now i can start creating the new solution so now we can start creating the new asp.net core web application or the ui application whatever that we are really looking for so i'm gonna choose the web over here and i'm gonna choose the sdk as 6.0 and i'm gonna choose web api instead of any other uh, type and you can see that we have dotnet 6 which is all pretty cool and i'm not gonna add any authorizations and also the docker support and i'm gonna create so that's gonna create a new project for me pretty much like how we do in the windows operating system and that's the power of the writer as well because you can use the same look and feel in windows mac and linux operating system so you can see that the ide has now spawned with all the required project templates for us and you can also see that it has the controller it has the cs file which has got the weather forecast and also it has got the program.cs file it's all pretty good and because it's using the dotnet 6 you can see there is no class file as such because you can use the class something like this as well all right so now i'm going to start running the application let's see how it actually works so because we have the dotnet and we have everything successfully installed it should be working fine for us and you can see that currently it says that to generate the dev certificate you need to run the dotnet dev certificate https thrust if not it is not going to work for you on the linux operating system because at the moment we are running the code with the https and as you can see the properties launch.cs file it is all https so i'm going to go to the terminal i'm going to paste this command i'm going to generate one there we go so now we have the certificate let's try to run it again and bingo we got the app up and running and because it is going to be a not trusted certificate i'm still going to accept the risk and hit continue and you can see that we have an application coming which is cool so now that we can able to run a dotnet application in ubuntu operating system without any big ceremonies because it's a cross-platform tool this is going to be exactly the same way that how we do in windows operating system this is exactly how we do in mac operating system as well so the dotnet installation is pretty much similar to windows mac and linux operating system and this makes the installation pretty much unified in all these operating systems so that's it guys this is how we can start installing dotnet in the linux operating system and how we can start creating an application over here Please let me know if you wanted to see some more details on how we can use Ubuntu for developing the .NET application so that I can create more videos on the same. Thank you.